check the time when she comes in. I'm going to stop her. I'm going to stop the solar alarm. I'm going to ask a question. Talk to you soon. Got it? Got the rest of the way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Let us pray. Eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, as you gladden the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your Son, by His presence now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Sylvia and Wojciech, and grant that they, rejoicing in all your gifts, may at length celebrate with Christ the marriage feast, which has no end. The Lord God in His goodness created us male and female, and by the gift of marriage founded human community in a joy that begins now and is brought to perfection in the life to come. And now, let us together acknowledge the Lord's presence as we pray together as Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God to join Sylvia and Wojciech in holy matrimony. The Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Thereupon, God created woman of man's own substance and brought her to the man. Our Lord Jesus Christ honored marriage and he confirmed it was a divine ordinance and a union not to be severed. The Apostle Paul set forth the sacred and exalted nature of marriage when he likened it to the mystical union that subsists between Christ and His Church. Today, Sylvia and Wojciech will proclaim their love to the world. We should rejoice to be in the presence of true love such as theirs. In marriage, two become one by giving themselves up to each other, and by so doing, return, receive in turn the gift of love and trust. But that gift is shared, not just by the two being joined today, but by all they touch, their friends, their family, all that are present here today. Some say that marriage is the oldest rite in the world. It is certainly the most momentous moment in a couple's life, the most significant celebration of community. As such, it should not be entered into thoughtlessly or lightly. For your future happiness and prosperity depends much on what you put into this relationship. Marriage is a promise to your best friend, to your love, that you'll honor and cherish each other, not for a fleeting period, but for the rest of your lives. Our first reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning at the fourth verse. It will be in Polish by our maid of honor. Miłość jest szczęśliwa, szlachetna. Nie 
ये भी काम हो जाए तो ये भी बहुत मुश्किल है मुझे सुशील अभी इस पर भी नहीं चाहिए या तो बहुत परेशान है कौन दिखते हैं ना जिसके मुंह ये जो जिसके मुंह ये जो जिसका जो मुझ Word of the Lord. The gospel reading will be from St. John, chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. There was a wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Jesus and his disciples were guests as well. When they started running low on wine at the wedding banquet, Jesus' mother told him, they're just about out of wine. Jesus said, is that any of our business, mother, yours or mine? This isn't my time. Don't push me. She went ahead anyway, telling the servants, whatever he tells you, do it. Six stoneware water pots were there, used by the Jews for ritual washings. Each, had, each held 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus ordered the servants, fill the pots with water, and they filled them to the brim. Now, fill your pitchers and take them to the host, Jesus said. And they did. When the host tasted the water that had become wine, he didn't know what just had happened, but the servants, of course, did. He called out to the bridegroom, Everybody I know begins with their finest wines, and after the guests have had their fill, brings in the cheap stuff. But you saved the best till now. This act in Cana of Galilee was the first sign, the first miracle that Jesus gave, the first glimpse of his glory. And his disciples believed in him. Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 